Hello students, how are you? Good afternoon to everyone. I am Rajvir Singh from INCAS, your biology mentor. Today brings the part third of chemical, in organization, chemical coordination and integrations. So, as I hope from your side, this session definitely will be uh, meaningful and fruitful for you. And my best try will uh, best try for you uh, deliver the best concept by this uh, fantastic questions so let's start today's session first question at front of you so see which one of the following pair of chemical substance is a correctly categorized what secretin rhodopsin is a polypeptide hormones calcitonin thyro thymosins is thyroid hormones pepsin Prolactin is two digestive enzymes secreted in stomach. Pro, uh, troponin, troponin, and myosin is a complex protein is stated muscles. So among of them, our answer correctly matched will be fourth. Why do you choose just troponin and myosin? Complex protein is stated muscles because troponin and myosin are the protein of a stated muscles. Stated muscles they help in muscles contraction first of all then thymosin is the hormone released from the thymus and the help in the stimulating the growth of the certain immune cells calcitonin is also a hormone released from the parafollicular cells of the thyroid gland next one prolactin is a hormone released by the pituitary glands pepsin is a protein digesting and hormones secreted in the stomach Rhodopsin is a derivative of vitamin D. Secretin, a hormone released into the bloodstream by the duodenum, especially in the response to acidity, right, to stimulate the secretion by the liver and pancreas. So, I hope you will understand why we choose troponin and myosin. This is very good questions, right? Now, next question. Match the source glands with the respective hormones as well as the function. First, thyroid is thyroxine hormone. Regulate the blood calcium level. This is wrong. Anterior pituitary ox. Anterior pituitary is oxytocin. Contraction of uterus muscles during childbirth. This is not right one. Posterior pituitary vasopressin stimulates reabsorption of water in the distal tubules in the nephron. Fourth one, corpus luteum. Estrogen, but support pre uh, pregnancy. This is not right. So, right. So, answer will be third because this is the right uh, correct matching regarding of the posterior pituitary vasopressin and stimulate the reabsorption of water in distal tubules in the nephron. Right. So, let me describe in detail way. So, vasopressin is released from by posterior pituitary and it stimulates the reabsorption of water in distal convoluted tubule and collecting duct in the nephron. Oxytocin is released by posterior pituitary. Corpus luteum secretes progesterone. Calcitonin released by thyroid glands regulate blood calcium level. So that is why our answer will be third. I hope you will understand. Next one question. This one question saying about a given below is an incomplete table about the certain hormones, their sources, glands, and one major effect of each one of the body in a human. Identify the correct option of the three blanks A, B, and C. First A is gland, then estrogen, maintenance of secondary sexual character. Yes, definitely. When we are talking about estrogen, then it is connected with ovary. So we, we can say A will be ovary. Then after alpha C, of islets of Langerhans, yes, this is secretion about obviously alpha cell glucagon because we know beta cell secrets insulin and alpha cell is a glucagon. So, B will glucagon that is raise the blood sugar level. Then, after entered anterior pituitary uh, or secret hormone C over, over secretion leads to the gigantism. Definitely, we can say this will be the growth hormone. And now when we check the option, A option, placenta will eliminate because this is wrong. Ovary, yes, this is right. Glucagon, this is also right. Growth hormone. So we can say our answer will second. 
placenta is definitely will eliminate yes in fourth option ovary is right but insulin is not right because as i told you insulin is secreted by beta cells but but glucagon secreted by alpha cell so our answer will be second okay now you can see here also as i told you the primary function of the ovary in the production of ova in, in addition it's to its ovary acts like an acts like an endocrine organs where it secretes estrogen progesterone under the influence of the fsh follicular stimulating hormone estrogen help to develop and maintain the secondary sexual character glucagon is secreted by alpha cells of islets of langerhans which help to maintenance maintain the glucose level by preventing glucose level from the falling to low the pituitary is the master gland of the body which control the function of the various other glands it is divided into in uh, into two lobes anterior and posterior the posterior lobe secrete the growth hormones over secretion of this hormone leads to gigantism and is mostly caused by tumor in the glands it's result in the over secretion of the growth hormone so answer will be second next in 24 hours diurnal rhythm of our body such as the sleep walk cycle is regulated by the hormone what adrenaline from melatonin yes calcitonin also from prolactin is connected with milk production so our answer will be melatonin but here if i more talk what melatonin so i would like to say just about melatonin is a hormone secreted by the pineal gland in the brain melatonin often referred to as the sleep hormones is a central part of the body sleep walk cycle its production increase the evening darkness promoting healthy sleeps and helping to orient our circadian circadian rhythm so that is why our answer will be melatonin right now next one is about <coughs> The injury to adrenal cortex is not likely to affect the secretion of the which one of the following. It means this question is saying about which hormone not secret about the from the adrenal cortex. So cortisol, definitely the secret. So this will not be our answer. Aldosterone, this is not right. Yes, both uh, endosteroidones and di. Uh, dehydroaphinandestronones, adrenalines, yes, adrenaline is the will our answer because the adrenal glands is the made up of two parts, as I told you in previous sessions also. First part is the outer portion is called the cortex, inner portion is called as the medulla. Is it clear? The cortex produces cortisol, which is an important hormone for controlling the blood pressure. While if I talk about another part that is a medulla, produce the adrenaline, and these are both released in the response to stress. Thus, an injury to the adrenal cortex will not affect the secretion of the adrenaline, but will hamper cortisol secretion. So answer will be fourth adrenaline. Next one question. This is very important question. So see it. Which one of the following? pair is incorrectly match insulin diabetes mellitus disease glucagon beta cells uh, sources uh, this all wrong because we have done also this type of question already so definitely our answer is second this one is the incorrect match then after if i talk about somestostatin so this is the delta cell sources yes corpus luteum relaxing hormone secrets from secretion so what we see among of them, our answer will be second because this is the incorrect match. Now, now if I say about delta cells are somatostatin producing cells, they can be formed in the stomach, intestine, and the pancreatic isolates in a woman. Relaxin is secreted into the circulation of the by corpus luteum in the ovary, especially right now. When a body does not make enough insulin blood sugar level increase causing diabetes mellitus disease is it fine however glucagon is secreted by alpha cells of the 
pancreas so our answer will be second next one so next question is about next question is about toxic agents present in foods which interfere with the thyroxine synthesis leads to the development of what thyro toxicosis toxic goiter creatinism simple goiter yes answer will be simple goiter why do you choose only simple goiter why not toxic goiter creatinism and thyro toxicosis because toxic agents is present in the food which interfere with the thyroxine synthesis leads to the development of the simple goiter a goiter is a swelling of the neck and or we can say larynx resulting from the enlargement of the thyroid gland thyroids hormone are responsible for the growth and development of the body its deficiency caused stunted growth so we have choose simple goiter fourth option next one is very good select the correct match of a hormone with their sources and their function so first vasopressin posterior pituitary and increase loss water through urine not right right so this one is not right nor epinephrine adrenal medulla increase heart beat rate of respirations and alertness yes this is right glucagon beta cells of islets of langerhans stimulate glucogenolysis this also again wrong prolactin posterior pituitary and regulate the growth of the mammary glands and milk formation of femoralis so function of the prolactin is right but posterior pituitary is wrong so answer will be second now now see if i more talk about norepinephrine so norepinephrine is the released from the adrenal medulla part okay into the blood as a hormone and is and is a, also a neurotransmitter in the central nervous system cns and a sympathetic nervous system an increase in norepinephrine from the sympathetic nervous system increases the rate of the contraction in the heart norepinephrine also also underlies the fight uh, fight or flight response along with the epinephrine directly increasing heart rate triggering the release of the glucose from the energy stores and increasing blood flow to skeletal muscles now prolactin is a hormone produced by the anterior portion of the pituitary glands right <coughs> so vasopressin two primary functions are to retain water in the body and to constrict blood vessels it regulates the body retention of a water by acting to increase water reabsorption in the collecting ducts of the nephron now glucagon is a peptide hormone produced by alpha cells we know of the pancreas and that arise the contractions concentration of glucose in the blood stream so our answer will be second okay now then after if i talk about next question so here the question is asking about the letter in the letter t in t lymphocyte refers for thalamus tonsils thymus thyroid dear students this is very good conceptual questions because here all t terms are right correct but and among them definitely naturally among of them maximum students can be confused thalamus tonsil thymus thyroid so you should know about in t lymphocytes the t the t letters generally refers to thymus this is thymus not thalamus not tonsils not thyroid this is a, this is one only thymus right so t cells also called as the t lymphocyte as i as i told you already is a type of the leukocytes that is an essential part of immune system t cells originate uh, the bone marrow and mature in the thymus in the thymus t cells multiply and differentiate into helpers regulatory helpers regulatory helpers regulatory and cytotoxic t cells they are then circulated in the blood and lymphatic system 
Hence, the T letter is, means is the thymus gland. I hope you will understand. Now we come at next question. At front of you, a health disorder that result from the deficiency of thyroxine in adult and characterized by a low metabolic rate, increase in body weight, tendency to retain water in the tissue is what? Simple goiter, myxodema. Creatine is a hypothyroidism. Yes, among of them, answer will myxodema. Okay, so let me say about myxodema. So myxodema is also known as a <coughs> sorry, Gus disease occurs commonly in adult due to the deficiency of thyroid hormone. Right? So when the mental and physical development of a body is complete, thyroid hormones regulate metabolic rate of a body as it increases the oxygen consumption in metabolically active tissue. A decreased level of thyroid hormones cause low metabolic rate in the body. Other symptoms if I talk about so include increased body weight first second water retainment in tissue. So myxodema is the right option. Next one. So next one question is about Next one question is the which one of the following is an amine hormones progesterone, thyroxine, oxyporums, oxypurines and insulin. So among of them our answer will be thyroxine. So this one is the thyroxine is the amine hormones because here we have to determine first of all the hormones which is amine derivative drives. Insulin is the peptide hormones. Okay secrets by pancreas and beta cells especially it maintain the glucose level in the bloods and store the glucose in the liver fat and muscles right as it peptide hormones it contains protein molecules and is also called as the protein hormones so thereafter option first is incorrect regarding of amino hormones thyroxine is an important hormones secreted by the thyroid glands and in the bloodstream in it maintain the insulin level in the body. It is a amino derived hormones. Therefore, option second definitely will our answer. Okay. Now, progesterone. So, is the steroid hormones that belongs to the class of the lipid hormones. It play a important roles in the progesterone in the pregnancy and the menstrual cycle, and is also called as the sex hormones. Thyroxine is the right answer. I hope you will understand. Now. Next one questions, the bloodstream, that is one, the blood calcium level is lowered by the deficiency of calcitonin, parathormos, thyroxine, both calcitonin, parathormos. Yes, here our answer will be parathormos. Why we have choose parathormos? Because a calcitonin is the hormone produced by C cells of the thyroid glands and the worker and they works when the when there is a high concentration of calcium present in the blood especially right calcitonin decrease the blood calcium level to make it's a stable in the normal range then after parathormones if i talk so parathormones is secreted by the chief cell parathyroids that regulate the metabolism of the calcium and phosphate as it increase the calcium absorption from the intestine and also increase the calcium reabsorptions right so calcium reabsorptions from the nephron of the kidney right then after uh, next is the thyroxine so thyroxine is the secreted by the thyroid gland and play a vital role in regulating the body and the metabolic rate heart and digestive functions muscles control brain development maintenance of bone so our answer will be parathormos. I hope you will understand. By the way, the description of this question is very, very good and very conceptual for you. So see it carefully, right? Now, we come at next question. So next question is about saying to you, which of the following pair of organ include only the endocrine glands, adrenal and ovary, parathyroids and adrenal, pancreas, parathyroids, thymus and testis so this one we know 
generally ovary and testis we can eliminate because this is not only endocrine it's not only right and if i talk about pancreas yes so pancreas is just a mixed type so it, it is also not only not only uh, endocrine so we can say our answer will not second but yes we can say surely definite parathyroids and adrenal is will our answer second okay because these are purely endocrine glands answer will second here if i more talk about this option so here i would like to say about a correct answer is the parathyroids because hormones are secreted by the endocrine system endocrine glands do not have a ducts that is why these are known as the ductless glands okay their secretion hormones are secreted into the blood stream right discretes endocrine glands these include the pituitary hypophysis thyroid parathyroids adrenal pineal glands endocrine components of the glands which with the both an endocrine and exocrine functions this include the kidney pancreas and gonads so the correct answer is the parathyroids and adrenal that is why our answer will be second okay then after we come next question so next question is about compared to a bull of blocks to a decoil because of what's lower level of adrenaline no adrenaline in its bloods this is not right higher level of thyroxine high level of cortisones lower level of a blood testosterone our answer will be fourth lower level of the blood testosterone is the right because here you can see a bullox is a decoil is a it means less aggressive animal which is a easily handled okay so a bullox is a decoil it means and because it is a has a degenerated testis due to it has a it has a low testosterone level in the bloods testosterone as we know is a sex hormone and principal androgen secreted in the male by testis it stimulates the development of secondary sex organ sexual characters and body and <coughs> body tissue like the muscles so correct answer will be fourth low blood testosterone is the right answer next one feeling the tremors of an earthquake is a scared resident of a seventh floor of a multi storied building start a climbing down a stair rapidly which hormone initiate this action gastrin not right thyroidin thyroxin not right yes but adrenalin definitely our answer glucagon is not right because we know very well adrenalin just definitely motivate to us fight and flight and we know that is why this is the fight flight okay so adrenaline will be our right answer so feeling tremors of an earthquake is scares the resident of the seventh floor is multi story building start climbing steadily this person is a uterus uterus stress right now to deal with the condition of the stress the flight the fight and flight hormone also known as the adrenaline hormone is activated naturally in this situation such a condition the adrenaline hormone is secreted by the adrenal glands the adrenal glands are also known as the gland of the emergency or the supra renal glands the adrenaline is also known as the epinephrine and is secreted by adrenal medulla right which is the inner part of the adrenal glands the adrenaline hormones increase normally the heart beats and respiratory rate they increase the sweating pile of erections cause alternas and the dilation of the pupil they increase the blood sugar level and the stimulate the breakdown of the lipids and protein their primary targets tissue are the skeletal muscles skeletal muscles and cardiac muscles smooth muscles blood vessels so answer will be second third sorry third adrenaline next one is about a person is having problem with calcium and phosphorus metabolism in his body so which one of the following glands may not be functioning properly thyroids 
parathyroids, parotids, pancreas. So we know very well when we are talking about calcium and phosphorus, then definitely we will see about talking. We are talking about uh, parathyroids. Answer will second. Now, if I more talk about here parathyroids, so you can see in pictures thyroid glands are just occurs, and in in this diagrams you can see a yellow part is showing to just a parathyroid glands. So answer will be parathyroid. The hormone of parathyroids is called as the parathormones and the main function of the hormones. The main function of the parathormones is to regulate the metabolism of the calcium and phosphorus, right? And phosphorus in the body. Thus the problem with calcium and phosphorus metabolism indicate abnormal functioning of the parathyroid gland. So answer will be second. Then after one, our question, next question is just uh, at front of you. So see, uh, steroid hormones which are regulate glucose metabolism is what? Cortisols, corticosterones, 11, 1, 1, deoxy, corticosterones, cortisones. Answer will be the uh, answer will be first cortisols. So if I more talk about cortisol, so cortisol is the Cortisol or glucocorticoids hormone is the steroids hormone produced by the adrenal cortex. It is released in response to stress, a low level of the blood glucose. Its functions are to increase blood sugars through a gluconeogenesis and to the aid in the, the metabolism of the fat, protein and carbohydrates. So that is why one our answer will be first cortisols. Which one of the following is a not second messenger in a hormone actions C, GMP, calcium, sodium, CAMP, answer will be third, sodium. Why? Because you can see uh, in this three part, hydrophobic, hydrophilic and gases. When, uh, when we are talking about hydrophobic, so hydrophobic is the, hydrophobic part is just about a, Di, uh, diacylglycerol, phosphatidyls, linosteols, hydrophilic, CMP, CGMP, IP3, calcium plus 2. Gases is the nitrogen peroxides, H2S, and carbon monoxide. Right? So, nitrogen monoxide, H2S, and carbon monoxide. Second messenger are the low molecular weight molecule that ser serve to transmit and amplify the signal of hormones they can be hydrophobic hydrophilic and a gaseous molecule calcium serve as the secondary messenger of a group second c hormones cmp serve as the secondary messenger of a group a group second a hormones while cgmp serve as the secondary messenger of a for a group second B hormones, sodium does not serve as the secondary messenger for any hormones. So our answer will be sodium. I hope you will understand why we have choose just like a sodium. Okay. Now, next question is about which of the following is an accumulation and release center of the neurohormones, uh, posterior pituitary lobes. Anterior uh, intermediate lobe of the pituitary hypothalamus, anterior pituitary lobe. Answer will first posterior pituitary lobes because the posterior pituitary or neurohypophysis is a structure under the direct regulation of hypothalamus. Right, the nuclei of hypothalamus accumulate vasopressins and oxytocin in the in this neurohypophysis which serve as a release center in the formation of the neurohormones. So the correct answer is the posterior pituitary lobes. Answer will first. Next one is very good questions. Which hormone cause the dilation of blood vessels, increased oxygen consumption and glucogenolysis, ACTH, insulin, adrenaline, glucagon? Yes, answer will third, adrenaline. Because the adrenal medulla secretes the adrenaline 
and the stress response generated by the body is mainly due to the due to adrenaline and it is mainly act to on a cardiac muscles skeletal muscles blood vessels smooth muscles and fat cells it increases heart rate blood pressure metabolic rate dilates blood vessels and increase the breathing rate and the hence oxygen consumption and initiate the formation of the glucose by the breakdown of the liver glucose liver glycogen it means glycogenolysis increase the blood glucose level so answer will be third adrenaline right now next one damage to the thymus in a child may leads to what a reduction in hemoglobin content of blood no this is not connected with thymus then after reduction in stem cell productions not this is not right loss of antibody mediated immunity a cell mediated immunity exactly our answer will fourth because as we know a thymus is popular for the thorn of the immunity and we also know it it will play an important role in a cell mediated immunity not a antibody mediated immunity so our answer will be fourth loss of the loss of a cell mediated immunity is the right answer now if, if i more talk about thymus so you should know about the thymus gland is the located in the chest part behind the sternum is it fine now t cells as i told as i said you thymus cells are the produced in the bone marrow these cells migrate to thymus the thymus glands is a responsible for the differentiation and maturity of the cells t cells this maturity cells are released in the blood stream to fight against the infection the t cells work in a coordinations with the b cells to destroy the bacteria virus and other foreign antigens if any damage is caused to the thymus during childhood may cause lack or less uh, number of the mature t cells especially right this will cause the child to become more prone to infection and this and thus there will be a lack of loss of a cell mediated immunity provided by the t cells so answer will be fourth next one very good thymosin hormones is secreted by thyroid glands parathyroid glands thymus glands hypothalamus yes answer will be third thymus because thyroid gland is situates between the trachea and larynx we know in the neck part and secretes thyroxine hormone especially which increase oxygen consumption by the metabolic activity tissue is it fine then after if if we come at parathyroid so parathyroid gland is present especially is present in the form of the four small pouch where, uh, which are embedded in the posterior surface of a lobe of thyroid gland this gland secretes parathormones which increase calcium reabsorption from the bones and cause mobilizations of calcium in the blood is it fine thymus gland is associated with the development of immune system present on the dorsal side of heart it secretes thymosin hormones which play an important role important role in differentiation of t lymphocyte especially right then after at the last if i talk about hypothalamus is a present in the forebrain this gland especially secretes hormone that are regulate the synthesis and secretion of hormones of the pituitary glands so that is why by the by this explanations i would like to say hence we choose the third option thymus gland is the right answer next insufficient quantities insufficient quantities of a an antidiuretic hormone adh in a blood leads to what diabetes mellitus glycosuria diabetes insipidus uremia answer will be third diabetes insipidus because low level of anti diuretic hormone will cause the kidney to excrete too much water urine volume will increase leading to the dehydration and fall in 
blood pressure low level of the anti diuretic hormones may indicate damage to the hypothalamus or pituitary glands or a primary polydipsia compulsive and excessive water drinking in primary polydipsia the low level of the anti diuretic hormone represent an effort by the body to get rid of excess water especially so the correct answer is the excessive urination is the right answer in favor of the diabetes insipidus right so diabetes insipidus next one the hormone which regulate the basal metabolisms in our body is secreted from the adrenal cortex pancreas pituitary thyroid answer will thyroid because the basal metabolic rate of the body is controlled by the hormones t3 triiodothyronine t4 thyroxine produced by the thyroid glands in response to the thyroid stimulating hormone tsh produced by the anterior pituitary so the correct answer is the thyroid is the right answer next one calcitonin is a Calcitonin is a thyroid hormone which elevates calcium level in blood has no effect on calcium elevate potassium level in blood lower calcium level in blood yes our answer will be fourth lower calcium level in the blood because the calcitonin because the calcitonin is also known as the thyrocalcitonin is a hormone that is a produced in the human primarily by the para follicular cells of a, of the thyroid glands is mainly action are to increase bone calcium content and decrease the blood calcium level calcitonin opposes the effect of the parathyroid hormones which act to increase the blood level of a calcium then after if i talk about calcitonin is a hormone that the c cells in the thyroid glands produce and release it opposes the action of the parathyroid hormone helping to regulate the blood's calcium and phosphate level calcitonin work to control calcium and potassium level so our answer will be fourth calcium lower calcium level in the blood next one next one is which of the which hormone is to lead the formation and secretion of the milk in a female especially oxytocin progesterone lh prolactin answer will prolactin because here we can say prolactin lactogenic hormone is the hormone that stimulate milk secretion in lactating women prolactin stimulates mammary gland to produce a milk especially during pregnancy prolactin helps in the breast enlargement but due to the presence of the light high level of a progesterone and estrogen milk secretion does not happen once women deliver both progesterone and estrogen estrogen hormones level drop and prolactin help in the secretion of the milk so that is why correct answer will be fourth is a prolactin is the right answer okay then after next one next one is the a secretion of the progesterone by corpus luteum is initiated by especially testosterone thyroxine msh lh yes luteinizing hormone lh is the right one because a luteal phase is marked by the increased concentration of the luteinizing hormones the lh stimulates the corpus luteum to secrete progesterone which help in the maintenance of the pregnancy by increasing and thickening of the cell lining of the endometrial wall so answer will be fourth next one is very very good questions about the function of oxytocin is had to help childbirth gametogenesis growth lactation yes answer will be for first childbirth that is why oxytocin is known as also birth hormone here if i more talk about so this one is the released by posterior pituitary that help 
the muscles of the uterus to contract during parturitions it means childbirth it also stimulate the release of the prostaglandins that help especially cause further contractions so the correct answer is the childbirth very very easy question but very good questions melatonin is secreted by pineal glands pineal body skin pituitary glands thyroid yes answer will be first pineal body because melatonin is a hormone secreted by enzymatic pineal glands in a response to darkness hence the name of hormones of darkness it has generated a great deal of the interest as a therapeutic modality of a various of a various disease particularly sleep disorder so pineal body is the right answer then then after next one question is a the gonadotrophic hormones are secreted by anterior lobe of pituitary interstitial cells of testis adrenal cortex posterior part of thyroid answer will anterior lobes of a pituitary because the gonadotropic hormones is secreted by especially adenohypophysis of the pituitary glands right lh and fsh are collectively called as the gonadotropin they are called as the gonadotropins as they stimulated gonadal activity follicle stimulating hormones fsh in male fsh regulate the spermatogenesis form of sperm and if i talk about in female so this is the stimulate the growth and development of ovarian follicles especially and secretion of estrogen hormones then after if i talk about luteinizing hormone lh in men is called as the ich it means interstitial cell mid stimulating hormone which stimulate especially testis to the synthesis and secrete the androgen testosterone it activates the leydig cells of the testis to secrete testosterone in female lh especially stimulate stimulate the ovarian of the fully matured graphene follicle and also maintain the corpus luteum formed from the remnants of graphene follicles after ovulation so now the corpus luteum secrete the progesterone and some estrogen and under the action of the lh now gonadotropin any of several hormones occurring in the vertebrates vertebrates that are secreted from the anterior pituitary glands and that act on the glands it means the ovary or testis so our answer will be first okay so dear students that was today session and really i am very very happy to teach this topic with fantastic questions so i hope you will enjoy to my this sessions thank you for watching to me we will meet tomorrow with the new questions topic is uh, same and you remember today tomorrow is the our last part of this chapter okay so until now thank you bye bye take care